Hey there guys, you join me for another vlog. As you might have noticed, I have actually changed my camera. I bought like this really cool little Canon camera. Like a really big DSLR Canon, but I thought I'd get like a little kind of semi-compact flash camera Canon to do like vlogs and stuff so the quality might look a little bit better. So, you know, I thought I might do that. Anyway, I have not been uh, doing videos or anything for a while because I've just been busy with my um, my report, my huge like geological report, which uh, is like the biggest bit of work I'll probably ever do in this degree course. So that's why I've been pretty much at my ear. But I thought I'd uh, come back with some vlogs because they're kind of easier to make instead of just sitting down and like figuring out what to do with train sim and whatnot. Um, as the title of this vlog is, uh, uh, is preparations for Tenerife. I'm going tomorrow to Tenerife. Uh, for some volcano uh, volcanology, some volcanoes and whatnot, which is pretty cool. But I have to actually, right now, I'm in Leicester right now, in my room. I'm not going to show it because it's pretty messy. Um, and I'm going to go back to London to get some stuff because I don't have all my stuff to go like abroad and whatnot. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. So we're going to... I've got this also, this little tripod or something like that. I don't know how it... I don't know how it will make the video look but you know we'll give it a go and see how it is so I don't have to hold the camera precisely or whatever anyway gonna get my suitcase to pack some stuff gonna say bye to Ellie I'll see you in a bit good luck let me know when you get there will do see you in a bit Right. Do I have everything? Yes, I do. Let us begin our little bit of a journey. I will see you guys at my car. The night is very beautiful, actually, today in Leicester. It's very, very moody. It's like a nice bit of a twilight frog, actually. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, if any of you guys don't know what this area is in Leicester, it's a, it's a walking street called uh, New Walk. It's uh, one I use a lot. It's very nice tonight, actually, as you can see me. I have a bit of a walk to my car because normally I do not uh, leave uh, the car next to, uh, next to my property because it costs, well, while, um, while the, where the, the area that I normally leave it, where I'm going to right now, actually doesn't cost at all, which is really nice. And I'd rather park somewhere that I don't have to pay than park somewhere where you have to pay an extortionate price. If you get what I mean, because parking is actually ludicrous um, uh, in like, uh, I don't know, like, well, parking in London's horrible, but here it's ridiculous because the, the area I live on, um, there's no residential parking, it's just uh, pay meter parking, which I think pay and display is just ridiculous because you're just paying each day you're paying each day some really ridiculous fees and it all tallies up. Well, like say in London, residential parking, you pay a, an annual permit, which is good. I like annual permits because that's just one price for the year and it works out so much cheaper per day than if you paid per day. So, you know what I mean. But I'm dwelling in this fog. This fog is fantastic. I don't know guys what you're picking up on, the, on this camera, but this, I hope this camera's doing justice because it's a really nice twilight kind of fog night tonight. Anyway, I'll see you in my car. The spookiness of uh, Victoria Park. It's very cool. We have a war memorial there. I pretty much pass all the day, all the time going into university. And I think there's people like training over there in the on the fields, running up and down. 
like crazy folk. But this this fog, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera, but this fog is fantastic. I don't know if you can pick it up, but it is it's like a look it's like a thin banker of fog on the surface. It's crazy. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm essentially going into a cloud of fog right now. Like literally I cannot see more than maybe 10 meters in front of me. It's crazy. I love fog absolutely. This is but this is crazy. I don't know. This is like some really interesting halo fog. Normally you get fog in the morning, but fog in the evening will do nicely. Really nicely. But I'm almost at my car. I keep saying I'm gonna catch up in my car and then I just turn on the camera again to look at some fog, which is fun. But it is a really nice atmosphere, I have to say. But this time, I will see you guys at the car. <laughs> I'm in the car. Uh, it's pretty iced over, to be honest. If I can get my ignition on. But I guess I'm gonna have to... Yep. <laughs> well, considering I actually haven't used my car in like, maybe a month, let's say, uh, pretty understandable. I'm gonna probably have to wait here while it defrosts and whatnot. So I ain't going nowhere. That's the camera I got, by the way. Let's, let's just uh, turn it on so you guys can see. It's the uh, Canon G9X. It's like the lower spec 7X or whatnot. Oh, I don't know. But it is, uh, it's good. I like it so far. It doesn't have the split screen or anything, but I don't really give a shit about that. I just wanted a nice, good little handy cam so I could just uh, basically... Uh, j just record stuff on the go without because I was basically just I was basically just uh let me just put on this light I was basically just using my phone to be honest so um it's nice to just have something a little bit more dedicated that I don't really have to worry about because the, the main thing with my phone was I didn't have space on it so at least now I have like a dedicated thing I can just put on and then just chat to you guys uh and whatnot and hopefully do a lot of things. I really want, uh, there's actually a really cool idea I really want to do, uh, to start when I actually have time and it involves train spotting and it's probably going to be something on my main channel where it's going to be like like a series called Quirky Tries Train Spotting and something like that where I could try train spotting at a different station like as each episode or something like that. I don't know, I still need to figure out how I'd want to like do it but if you guys have any ideas then just hit me down below because I think it'd be fun to do some sort of kind of uh, weird, like because I'm not really a train spotter, but like it'd be fun to see me like you know try and train spot and whatnot. But yeah, um, gonna be probably waiting here. It's like flipping half a degree, pretty much. I'm probably gonna have to put on the uh, what do I have to put? I have to put on the windscreen thing and like turn it up to literally the max. As we wait for my windscreen to demist, and then we can get on the way to London. I probably won't do any more vlogs till I actually get to London because obviously vlogging and driving is a bit dangerous. But yeah, but as, but as I was saying earlier on, I did have my geology report, uh, which is the main thing that I'm not been doing any videos or anything, and that was lit, that's been handed in today. So thankfully but then i have tenerife tomorrow to go to for a week for to, to do some volcanology so you know i thought i'd start vlogging now you know try the new camera and whatnot and uh see i'm gonna vlog in tenerife and see if i can upload during tenerife or like when i get back i don't know i'll see but uh definitely keep you guys in the loop and whoever watches on this channel good for you comment me your thoughts and whatnot i have a Windscreen to wait, kind of to demist before I just get going. So I'll see you guys in a bit in London. Look who it is, it's Kyle. 
I'm tired. <laughs> All tired here. I'm very tired. I got yeah. here and then my mum called me. Yes. Tap. Yeah, I have everything. I've kind of like packed everything up for huh? for Tenerife. As you can see. Yeah, I have my passport. I have my art passport and my e hit card and um in Leicester. And um yeah. I uh, yes, I think. Yeah, I said I said that I have the Ehic card and the um and the um, and my passport. Yeah, I know. I have to. I have to. Yes, I, yes, I have to be at less than four o'clock. But whatever, you know. My room right now is an absolute mess. I'll give you like a little rundown because we're renovating the kitchen downstairs. So all of the kitchen stuff is in my room right now. If any of you guys know how my room looks like, this is how it looks like. It has a Finding Nemo poster up there. My lovely wooden bunk, bunk bed. Uh, my desk there, which is like the two meter long desk. Where my computer would normally be, but my computer's in Leicester right now. And then there's another meter desk there and whatnot. And there's me, hello. But yeah, I'm uh, head going to get ready to actually head back to Leicester right now. And... Uh, get ready to go to Tenerife in the morning at 4 a.m. No, 4 or 5 a.m., I don't know. But yeah, it's good catch up with Kyle. Kyle over there. <laughs> <laughs> giving, giving, giving them that zoom in to you. Cheeky. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh. <laughs> oh no, you need to see that once it's on the video. Literally, it was like, it was like you know one of those slow zooms? And then, like, you literally turn at the perfect moment when it stops zooming and you didn't do the face. It, it, it was literally like that. Perfect. Yeah. You, you'll, you'll see it in the vlog. Cool. But, um... I tried. I think... I think I'll end the vlog here for now for the prep to Tenerife. And... Tenerife. And I'll probably, like... I'll do... Yeah, I'll be doing vlogs in Tenerife and showing you guys Tenerife because... Why not? That's why I got this camera to, you know... Show the world to you guys from my eyes. And sometimes Kyle's. Mm hmm. Where are we then? Uh, league. I have no life. <laughs> Everyone will be like, oh no, it's train sim now. Is that not? It's League, boys. It's League of Legends. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Tell me your thoughts and opinions. Do you like this style? Do you like the new camera quality? And, uh,. Yeah, I'll see you in another vlog. Beginning Tenerife. Beginning the Tenerife vlog. At East Midlands Airport. We are in Tenerife, you guys. This 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 view is pretty damn fucking good. Like 
Look at this. Well, unlike the southern tip of, te of the Tenerife Island, the, the, the island's huge. It like, extends all the way down there, all the way up north. Uh, the big volcano is like somewhere around there. All the way goes all the way up to, into the clouds. It looks like it like um, it looks like it like spans about like five kilometers in the sky. Because like when we were in the plane, we were we were circling around it, and it was literally peeking through the clouds. It was crazy. It was so so cool. But we're just getting like settled in for the first day. Um, probably not going to do much today. Just kind of settle in, have, get rested. Uh, might go to the beach and. Uh, yeah, basically, our room's pretty cool. I'm sharing with one of my friends, Brandon, and uh, yeah, it's all good. And uh, if I get up to anything today, I will be sure to uh, bring it along and uh, show you guys. I'm sorry I didn't take too much footage at the beginning of the trip, like in terms of in the airport and whatnot. There just wasn't really much time and I was really, really tired, so that's why I didn't do it. But I hope you enjoy the rest of my coverage here at Tenerife which is absolutely beautiful. Rolling. Tell, yeah, tell the people what you want me to do. What, what, what do you want me to do with the camera? Do a panoramic shot of the pool landscape. Not this. So well, well, this, is, this, is the, this is the hotel, which is really cool. And whatnot. And a nice little 3D map. Yeah. That's really cool. We are, we are here. Here's Volcano, Volcano, mm -hmm. there, and whatnot, pretty cool. And then, we have a, we have a pool here, which is really, really cool, and whatnot. So it's a really, really, really cool, cool hotel, with some really cool stuff. People are like, paragliding over there and whatnot. The Wi-Fi is only in this little area here, which is annoying. Let's go back and find Ellie. She promised we would go to the beach after six. You can go. change What's changed its name? I'm walking down this promenade down here on the beach. It's really, really nice. We have these really cool, like, sand deposits, sand gravel deposits, which are really, really cool and weird. It's very nice. It's a bit dark now, it's in the evening, it's uh, just coming up to six and uh, it's actually really nice, this whole area is really really nice. I'm going out to actually buy some water, which is actually from the volcano here, which is pretty cool. Because it's, uh, the water here is actually from the actual volcano and um, uh, because the tap water is kind of like re evaporated sea water, so it's really good, the good kind of stuff. It's drinkable, but it doesn't taste nice. But First day here at, uh, at um, my first day here. So it's turning out to be really, really, really cool.
very, very beautiful. There's the Grand Canary over there. All these islands here are like the Canary Islands, but that's Grand Canary. And we're on the biggest island, Tenerife. Multiple volcanoes on it. The biggest one over there. I can't even see the crater. Tidy. Very beautiful. And there's some sort of monument here. This is December, this is like mid-December. On top of on top of Mount Roya, looking over to Tenerife, the airport's there. That's the place we're staying. Beautiful the sunset. Oh god. There you go, nice. Nice sunset. Very nice sunset. And just see all over there that you can't see. But yeah, there you go. Tenerife at night. a really beautifully pale cream diffusely stratified in there. Can you see that? And if you go up through the room back towards the right, it grades imperceptibly into a thick Can you see that? It's an inverse grading from a thick ridge. So what you'd say there is that the density current was coming along. And what was happening to the density current with time? Sorry, you said it so quietly, even I can't hear. It's waxing velocity, the velocity is waxing, you understand? So whilst early on... Can we the last one out? <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's going. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt the, the panel <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, yeah, and another one. <laughs> yeah, you can go through. No, no. Just another way. Just the recording. <clears throat> Do we get money from this? Is it going on YouTube? <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking every day it's going to be that. Mr. Supreme. Oh, who was it? Who was the last one out? Are you looking alright? Hi. Oh, no. You guys looked at me. Shit, I'm so sorry, Frank. <laughs> hey. No problem. <laughs> Cracking. Can we just move the bags out of the way? Where am I? Okay, and then we have all the people with colourful clothes at the front. In fact. And all the people with black clothes at the back. Oh, is it? Okay, I mean, it goes there. Now, people with blue headbands, you're okay, you can stand some. It's a bright shade for people. I think I'm going to try to get slightly obliquely like that. So, can we come around this? Sit on that way. Okay, somebody sit next to Andy in the middle. 
If we're nice, colourful clothes, you're good. You can stay in the front. <laughs> oh, come on, we've got a purple top on. We need to get you in here. 